So today we're going to present uh, to you an autonomous surface vehicle, uh, which is called the Wave Glider and manufactured by Liquid Robotics in, in the U.S. It's a very unique uh, autonomous vehicle because it, it extracts all of its propulsion energy from the waves, from the ocean. And so that means that the biggest draw of energy on a vessel, as, as you know, is propulsion. All the rest is easy to manage. And here we have propulsion for free and continuously, day, night. Uh, we have it in uh, good weather, like today, because we always have waves in good weather. But we can also stay at sea in bad weather, because then we have a lot of uh, good propulsion with the bad weather. So that means that we have an uh, autonomous uh, craft that can be controlled from shore using GPS and satellite communication, uh, who can send commands and send waypoints using a map to the surface vehicle. And the surface vehicle with a rudder system will direct itself to those waypoints and precisely navigate uh, through a certain course. And uh, the big advantage of uh, this vehicle is that it will work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and then as many weeks and months as you want. That means you can collect a very good time series data over time, and you can do it in the region that is interesting for you at the time when it's interesting. So if you're studying something that has seasonality, that means you can go in one place during uh, one part of the year and then another place during another part of the year. And you can use the wave glider to transit from one place to the other without having to have a shift go on site. Also, when you work far offshore, like uh, we're here uh, near a, a wind farm that's far off the coast of Belgium, uh, instead of uh, taking a, a large vessel to go to the site, you can launch it near the coast and then direct it to transit to the work area and it can transit on its own. It will take, it will navigate about 100 kilometers in three or four days. So all you have to do is plan if you want to be there and it's 100 kilometers offshore. You just launch it three or four days before and it will go to the work site and then it will start working in the site. It will uh, navigate about uh, 1,000 kilometers in one month. So that means in one month you can collect a lot of data over 1,000 kilometers of tracks. And then, uh, so the wave energy uh, is used for the propulsion and then we have solar panels that will uh, harvest the sun power, recharge some batteries, and then the batteries are used to power the computer that is used for navigation, communication, and then it will also uh, be used for powering instruments, for making measurements at sea. The other advantage of this uh, specific vehicle is that it's a surface vehicle. That means it can make measurements in the air, but also underwater. And it can also do the change of flux between the air and the water. Uh, in, the case, in some examples, the, the carbon PCO2 measurements. So now we have an uh, autonomous platform that can navigate to the work site, that can stay on the work site for many weeks, many months. Uh, so the question is, what, what do you do with this? Well, you, you do uh, a lot of the same work that you can do with a buoy. So the wave glider kind of does uh, a mix between the ship by being able to move, not as fast as the ship, but still uh, move and, and cover large areas, but at the same time has the temporal scale of a buoy, because like a buoy, it can stay out for one year uh, before it needs to uh, uh, get some maintenance or uh, some checkup. Uh, so it's really offering a new way of studying uh, the air uh, but also the water surface uh, in an autonomous way and then compared to ship costs uh, or even buoys uh, costs which require ships to be deployed and maintained, uh, the daily cost of uh, using a wave glider can uh, allow you to collect more data 
uh, at the same cost or at a reduced cost. So many advantages uh, in using this technology.